Hey, hey, what's going on today, guys? Today, man, I want to talk about the 2021 Jeep uh, Wrangler. It's coming out with two different powertrains. Yes, this is going to be really interesting. And man, I've been waiting on one of these for a while. All right, stick with me, guys, and I'll be right back with it. Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's get right into this. Uh, I guess it's more like a review because that's what we're doing. Yeah, it's a review because we're doing review on two different powertrains. Okay, now 2021 Jeep Wrangler is coming out with two different powertrains. Now, the one they're coming Jeep Wrangler Jeep. Well, let's just say Wrangler because when they do stuff, they don't really say Jeep. So we're gonna say Wrangler. So Wrangler. It's coming out with a four by E, which is a hybrid. It's a, it's just, yeah, it's a hybrid. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it, but I tell you, this is a pretty nice hybrid. It's a four cylinder, but it's a four cylinder with a, it's a turbocharged four cylinder. So it's going to be pretty nice. And it's better than the, the normal, what, uh, 3.6 V6, which they only push out like 200 and 85 horsepower now this four cylinder turbocharged is going to push out 375 horsepower so a hey, hybrid and 375 horsepower that's going to be kind of hard to beat now it's not bad this thing will do zero to 60 in like six seconds i mean it's, that's not bad for a jeep i mean it's 375 horsepower but you know anyway so now the, the battery, the, the little hybrid system on this thing, it's gonna be right up under your back seat, your, your rear seat up under there. So it's not gonna mess up any of the uh, ground clearance. You're still gonna be able to do everything that a non-hybrid Jeep can do. So I, I think it's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be options. What they're doing is they're giving you options and they're giving you pretty nice options, 300, and 75 horsepower in a hybrid. And that's gonna be the four by E uh, Jeep. Now this only comes, they only come in the um, the unlimited, the four door models. Um, so that's one thing, you have to get a four door model to get it. I mean, for me, which is a win-win because I like the four door models anyway, just because I don't, I've, I've heard different things. Um, whether it's more room or not, it just, it looks roomier. I mean, you know, and I'd, I'd probably rather have a four door than a two door. But anyway, now this is what I've been wanting to talk about. And this is what y'all been waiting on. Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. This is gonna be called the Rubicon 392. It's a V8. This thing pushes out 400. And 70 horsepower. Yeah, this thing's gonna be a beast. But just seeing that Rubicon 392, you know, right there on the hood where they put Rubicon, at least I hope that's the way they're gonna do it. I'm just, my mind is just going crazy right now. Now, the tires on this is gonna come factory with the 33 inch tires, which is not bad. So it's gonna come factory with the 33 inch tires, and they're, they're guesstimating this thing is gonna run zero to 60 in like 4.5 seconds. Yeah, that's going cool. I mean, 4.5 seconds, man, that's like, you know, that's up there. That's like not really race cars, but you know, a lot of cars don't even run 4.5 seconds. So that's, that's pretty good. Now the sport, the sport models of these, they're only, um, two speed. They only have two speed transfer cases. Well, this one is going to have an option of a rock track four wheel drive system. Okay. And so that's going to be pretty good. Now, on the outside, this is going to have a trail cam. Now, with this trail cam, now this, it comes pretty much with the um, the 8.4 inch touchscreen infotainment center. Now, if you have a model that, that comes equipped with the four, with the 8.4 inch um, infotainment screen on it, then you can get the trail cam and 
I think that'd be pretty cool to have a trail cam. But um, so that's you know that's basically that's basically it on it. I mean it's it's gonna be really nice, and I mean both options is gonna be better than a regular Jeep because for one, the Rubicon, which is almost the high or is it the highest price Jeep? I don't know. If it's not the highest price, it's the most popular Jeep. That's what everybody wants is the Rubicon. So the Rubicon 392 V8, 470 horsepower. I mean, yeah, 2021 is going to be pretty nice for Wrangler. And then, you know, you got your hybrid. In which the hybrid ain't bad either because the hybrid is pushing out, what, 300 uh 375 horsepower and 375 horsepower is almost 100 horsepower over a regular Rubicon because you know the regular Rubicon is only 285 horsepower so I mean man this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty nice all right guys I mean I'm here for it stick around for it and man hopefully I can go and look at one of these things and and bring y'all with me all right, guys, really appreciate it. Well, before this is over, do me a favor, share, like, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And then do me a favor, be good to yourself, and please be good to others. All right, thank you.